Hey everybody, Big Ten Clash taking place at Ann Arbor, Ohio State and Michigan doing battle this week, and we've been waiting for this one all year that Ohio State throws a little wrench into the system last week. Uh, Michigan Wolverines laying about a point in this one. I'm Scott Spritzer, and he is Mark Dufty. He is the sports book director at Jerry's Nugget. We're going to talk all about Lone Wolf and standalone book and all that coming up in another video. But, Mark, uh, where have you currently got this game between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Michigan Wolverines? We're at a pick -em in this game, and uh, I think it's the perfect number, personally. Uh, you got uh, two superpower coaches. Uh, I think Michigan has overachieved this year, and now I think Ohio State is obviously, obviously underachieved after, uh, after last week, and uh, I think it's a total toss-up. What, kind of, what kind of action are you getting so far? I mean, we're basically midweek. Are you getting any one-sided action, or is it basically down the middle, as far as both sharps and public? We've gotten uh, more sharp money on uh, uh, Michigan early, mm -hmm. uh, but the public's still on Ohio State. Yeah. You know, Urban Meyer hasn't lost at home. I'm sorry, Urban Meyer hasn't lost on the road uh, mm -hmm. since he's been with the, uh, the Buckeyes, and, and a lot of people are looking at that and saying, not so fast, my friend. <laughs> exactly. You guys don't do the games of the year at the beginning of the season or in the summertime leading up to the season, but we saw you know, a couple of books that do that, having Ohio State an 11-point favorite as recently or as late as September. And, of course, as you mentioned, pick them at Jerry's Nugget right now. You've been all over the place, and I want to talk to you about that later on, but you've been all over the world setting lines. When you do this kind of thing and you, a book takes that early action in the summertime in July or, or in September or whatever for a game that comes at the end of the season, is there ever a situation where there's exposure to one side where the sports book director is kind of chewing on his fingernails in the back office or is, are the limits small enough to where you never really have to worry about it? Generally, they keep the limits small enough that it, it, it's not a major factor, but in a game like that, uh, it was bet down a few different times over the course of the, uh, you know, the two months leading up to, to now. And so uh, there might be a little bit of hazard in a couple places on that game. Uh, that's a pretty big spread, too. So sure. book operators are still looking at potential middles and, right. and, and sides, not just uh, the lopsided one-sided uh, play. The game itself, the biggest issue to me going into the season for the Buckeyes was complacency because of course they win the national title. They've still got national championship talent. They've still got a national championship caliber coach and coaching staff, obviously. But would they be focused throughout the season? And I remember, you know, back in that opener against Virginia Tech and they were fired up for that game and the juices were flowing. And I really thought, because they took a lot of flack throughout the season about the soft schedule. Obviously nothing the players can do. You go out and you play the games. But they looked sluggish the offense especially the defense not so bad the the offense looks sluggish after the Virginia Tech game and I really thought going into that game against Michigan State that would get those juices flowing again but now we hear not only the fact that we saw with our own eyes the the odd play calling on offense we see maybe some divisiveness in the locker room so let's have you jump to the other side of the counter here now if you're approaching this game as we are trying to beat the spread rather than set that great number you know, what are you looking at in this game? You've got an Ohio State team. We don't know if there's going to be divisiveness on the football field after the way Zeke Elliott took out his coaches uh, post-game, or we don't know if it's going to bring them together because there was also that Zeke Elliott later in the day that says, we'll never play one like this again. What are your thoughts if you're taking the handicapper's role? Well, that's the million-dollar question, and uh, I, I think we're all trying to figure that out. Uh, you know, Urban Meyer has been such a successful coach for so long in, in all different programs. Mm -hmm. I, I could see him rallying the troops here uh, and, and, and again, they've been so successful on the road. Um, but on the other hand, they haven't played a really perfect game or, or sure. the complete game that you expected them to do all season. They haven't done it once this year. Uh, it took an injury to Virginia Tech's quarterback for them to pull, yeah, away, to pull away in that game. Um, so I don't know whether they could just flip the switch or not. And, and, and uh, Ann Arbor is not an easy place to do it. Very tough place to play. And, and you, it's a good point that you brought up because it was – Boy, second or third quarter when he when he got knocked out of that contest, and uh, and that's when Ohio State finally started to pull a little bit of distance between themselves and the Hokies. Hey, we've been putting a little bit of di uh, of distance lately with these top plays over at WagerTalk.com. Last week we hit our college football game of the year on Temple. Thought it was a great spot to go against Memphis. They win the game 31 to 12 with a big fourth quarter. We've now hit five top plays in a row the last five Saturdays in college football, and I've got my 5% main event. Final one of the season going this weekend, folks. These are 80% on the season. We've only released five. We're four and one. You'll want to jump in on that. 5% college football main event going this weekend. 5-0 and run again with top plays, four and one with the main events overall for the season. And you can get it by itself 
or you can get it as part of the weekend all access for $69. I'm Scott Spritzer. He's Mark Dufty of Jerry's Nugget. A lot more to come with Mark. You're going to love some of the stuff Mark has to tell us about when it comes to old school handicapping versus new, uh, new school handicapping and more all coming up on these weekend videos right here at wagertalk.com.